Should God bless us financially? Well, sure. He says he's our heavenly father. I believe this will be the year that not only will the church's bills be paid, but people will be able to have ministries. People will be able to get blessed. I want to tell you this story real quick before we get ready to close. There's a young man that came to our church, and he's been a member of the church, the, the church in Corbin, for seven years. And we were in a meeting, and God began to speak to me and said, I want you to get the kids up there and pray for them, talk to them a little bit in the altar. So I did, and all of a sudden they got up there, and the Spirit moved on me and said, give that kid $20. Christmas is coming, he has no money. So I said, okay, Lord, I, you know, no, not a problem. I gave him 20 He said, there's a man standing over here. He has no money to buy his kids any presents. Give him $100. And I said, okay, Lord, here, you know, no problem. It's all his, right? I just be willing to obey God. So I begin to give. It. Now, Lord, I paid my tithes and I give the offerings and all that. But now I'm talking about coming out of a straitjacket. Amen? Because there's some people, their finances are in a straitjacket. And they can't get a breakthrough. But this young man come up to me and he was standing there and I said, I'm going to pray over you and I want to give you this $20. Now you've heard all the teaching we've done at this church. I want you to do whatever God puts in your heart to do. So he did what God told him to do. He come to me last week. Tears welled up in his eyes. He said, Pastor Jay, I need to talk to you a minute. 16 years old. This young man was in Breathitt County Detention Center. He had gotten some trouble. God brought him out of all that. And, and put him playing music at the church and using him. He said, Pastor Jay, I need to tell you something. Come here a minute. And I said, what's that, young man? He said, I want you to know something. He said, I really was kind of skeptical about it. You give me that $20 and prayed over me and spoke the blessing. Said in 2000, before 2014 come, God was going to bless me financially at 16 years old. And you said that when we give, men will give unto our bosoms. Shaking down, pressing, running over. I said, yeah, I remember saying that. He said, I want to show you something. He opened his wallet. It was full of 50s, 100s, 20s, and 10s. With tears in his eyes, he looked at me. He said, this thing works. This thing works. He said, people have not stopped giving me money all week. Woo. You know why he got that kind of miracle and blessing? Because he decided to listen to the pastor. He decided to listen to the prophet. He heard the word of God. And he believed with faith. He took his faith and he stretched out there and snatched it and grabbed it and claimed it for his own. Your church will only prosper as much as you prosper. If you want to break the back of poverty in 2014, you want your life to come out of bondage, financial bondage is a big thing for people. How can I help the sick and the poor and the needy when I can barely get by myself? You know how many people in eastern Kentucky are in straight jackets financially? But God said, listen, I'm bringing you out of that. I'm blessing you. Y'all you know, have always said you ain't, you know, <laughs> you ain't really nobody until they fly over your house and take a picture. Then you know you're in trouble. Or when they gnash their teeth and they point at what she's living in. And they're mad at you because God promised. Now listen, if you're happy where you're living, that's fine. I got a lot of kids and a lot of grandchildren. I needed a bigger house. Amen. But tonight I want to ask you as we get ready to close, are you tired of living in that straitjacket? jacket? Are you tired of living in Egypt? Are you ready to come out in 2014? I want to speak over you that the hand of the Lord be upon you right now. I want you to take your hand right now and put it on your head by faith. And I want to pray for your mind that 2014 is going to be the year that you get your sanity back. Some of you parents that are listening to me right now, the sound of my voice, your children have drove you crazy. Your teenagers have drove you out of your mind. You've got 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds that's back and forth in jail, on drugs, and you've about lost your mind. You've prayed your last prayer, and you don't know what to do. As the musicians get ready to come, I want to ask you right now, are you ready to have your mind set free? The Bible said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Right now, the Spirit of God is coming through that camera to you. He's coming through those airwaves, sir, in that Ford truck that you're driving down the highway. That red and white Ford truck, I'm speaking to somebody right now that's going down the highway, and you're ready to just end it all. God's talking to you, sir. He's saying, pull over and pray. And you're going to see the miracle. You're going to see the blessing. So it's time for you to come out of Egypt. It's time to come out of the straitjacket. Today I speak over your children that in 2014, they'll not only come out of Egypt, 
but they'll be liberated and they'll bring others out. I speak right now over the mother that's been praying with tears in her eyes. Right now, it's listening to me that God right now is moving for you and your family before this year is over. I know we only got a couple days left in 2013, but you're going to see a move of God in that house because you have displayed your faith to God. So as we get ready and they sing this song, we have one minute left. I want you to come and pray. Well, I've been a soldier in God's mighty army since many long years ago. And I've been scarred and wounded in battle, and many times I've been brought low. But by the signs of the times, I then realize I've only one more mile to go. Well, is that the life of heaven? Just a taste of what lies ahead I feel like running 